welcome back to the tavern and the oasis. It's late afternoon here at the tavern. Almost pushing dinner time. It's April 3rd, 2021. And this is basically just a bit of a fireside chat without the fire. Fire pit's not completely ready. I did get it. The first course of stone cemented in today. So over the next week or two I will get the other two other course of stones in and get it leveled out and all set up. So it'll look really good when I'm done. There's a little bit of work left to do on it so I can start cooking fires in it. With a little luck, maybe next weekend. You know, if I uh, get to it on a, well, I don't know if I'll get to it on a Friday. I might not be here on Friday. At any rate, this is just a chat. Chat a few things. Having my afternoon beer, my evening beer. And I uh, just want to ramble on about a couple of things. Let's start with the uh, state of the world today. The state of the world today is a very sorry state. We've given our governments so much power. And what are we going to do to gain that power back? It's a hard one. Governments throughout history, whenever they've been given power, or granted power, or taken power, and the public didn't fight back against them, they don't surrender that power until some ultimate thing happens. That ultimate thing is usually a pretty horrendous uh, civil war of some sort, or a complete collapse of that civilization. I mean, a lot of people like to compare the West, that being the United States, Canada, uh, England, uh, Australia, New Zealand, you know, Germany, etc. Compare the West to how Rome rose and fell. I mean, they compare the United States to it in particular, but if you kind of look at it over the last, you know, 20 some years, it's not just been the United States. Yeah, they've kind of led the charge, but almost everybody followed the U.S.'s lead in things that were happening. Right now, people aren't really following the U.S. lead, but Europe, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, we gave those go we gave our government so much power. And they're so reluctant to release it, it's just scary. They keep implementing more and crazier rules on us. Uh, you know, these crazy lockdowns. As a Canadian, you know, I don't travel much to begin with, but if I did travel, I'd come back here and I'd be faced with uh, having to demand my rights that I wouldn't have to go to the gulag as it's called, or the quarantine ho uh, quarantine hotels, or the quarantine prisons, or whatever they all want to call them. It's basically, it's basically being locked up against your will for no apparent reason other than the fact that they feel like they can, and most people are complying with it. In fact, probably 99.8% are complying with it, judging from the news I get from time to time. There's only a few hardcore people that say, no, I'm not doing it. I refuse. Here's the reasons why. And they shake the laws at these people, and those, those people go, oh, 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 I don't know. Here, here's a fine for 1300 bucks. Well, that means squat. You know, because once it's fought, once it's fought, it's not going to be passable. At any rate, you know, we've got that going on. We've got a worldwide... Uh, system right now that's being des destroyed. Uh, our system of delivery of goods and products is being uh, destroyed. You know, we recently had the problem of uh, a ship getting stranded in the Suez Canal, and it was only there a week, but it set shipping behind by weeks, you know, delaying multiple ships. You know, those problems there are not something that's going to go away real fast. You know, we've got the problem right now, like here, I'm in the greenhouse, you can see all the wood around me that I use. This wood, you know, these 2x4s were bought last year. 
they were like three bucks a piece. Now they're close to ten bucks a piece. You know, it's like, and that's due to the scamdemic, the the Corona flu, the Wuhan virus, whatever you want to call it. You know, it's creating all kinds of problems, and they shut down wood plants, but also, you know, a lot of wood. Um, uh, mills, a lot of mills actually caught fire last year and burned. And that's all for the moment. <laughs>